Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? This journey that, that football takes you on. When I started refereeing in 1989 in Rotherham local leagues, to think that I'm here in in New York now, heading up the video review project, you just wouldn't have believed it. But um, yeah, I was approached by uh, MLS. Uh, I was asked if I'd be interested in being involved in the development and implementation of the video review project here, and um, it was a really good opportunity for me personally to combine my experience on the field and officiating with some of the recent work that I've done within television as well. I've enjoyed every moment of it. It's an exciting, challenging project. Yeah. Um, it, it has been a challenge to implement video review into, into football. The way the game is played is what makes it attractive, the flow and the tempo and the, you know, the fact that we, it's not a series of set pieces that would allow you to check things. Um, so we've had to do it in a careful way that doesn't change the way the game is played and we're always striving for this maximum benefit from a minimum interference. Don't change the way the game is played but give the officials an additional tool to avoid clear errors in important match changing situations. So IFAB have given countries around the world an opportunity to be involved in this trial phase uh, which will last through until probably 2019. Uh, all of the time it's been evaluated. Uh, we're looking at how it's working in different places. We're feeding back to them all the time and then a final decision will be made uh, in 2018 or 2019. And, and we're hoping, of course, that the, uh, the full ratification will be given and it'll be part of the laws of the game going, going forward. Now, that's important that we don't have too much uh, undue in interference in the game, the, the way the game is played. And um, yeah, a lot of focus is made on a small number of situations, I guess, where there's either been a mistake made or it's, it's not been clear what's been happening. But again, teething problems early on in a big project, uh, they're going to happen. They're going to happen. If it gets ratified, it'll be an option for leagues around the world to use if they want and if they are able to use it. It might be that people can find a, 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 a lighter version, if you like, where it's used in some games, but not in all games. Um, I guess you know the bigger leagues in the world are the ones who will have it in every in every competition. In the same way we see with goal line technology, goal line technology has been something that has been available for some years now, but only a handful of leagues use it. There's a, co a heavy cost implication. Yes, there's some benefits, of course, when you get it, but you have to spend quite a bit, a significant amount of money to get it into place in the first in the first instance, um, and not everybody will be able to afford it. But maybe they'll look for maybe a, you know. A, a lighter version where they can use it for their most important games only. So I need another look at that from some other angles because that is either, um, you know, again, you can't say totally because we're dealing with human beings and technology, but um, when you know what to look for, it gives you confidence to either discard the yellow card is shown, they just want to see from another angle to see from the other angle, is it a clear and obvious red? So again, they're just the big the penalty area. Yeah. Yeah. We'll check it to see if, the, if it was a clear error not to give the penalty. Okay. Just because the referee is given a yellow for simulation doesn't mean that's wrong. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. It could have been a penalty. Yeah. So he's given a second yellow. I don't quite know why they're having the feet. Yeah, it is seen down there by the referee. There's some debate about the use of the, the RRA, how much it should be or shouldn't be used. At the moment, we're saying we want the referee to have the final say. Well, Thank you.